The series industry is in its heyday right now. Every year, there are a lot of high profile premieres that bring in a large audience. In the 24th year, we will see the, the continuation of favorite projects, new original shows, and the final seasons of popular stories. Here are a few series of different genres that have already been released, and here's what's known about their plot. Number one, it's a prequel to the comedy in the third extra starring Mark Wahlberg. This time, the events take place in Boston. In the year 93, no longer just a favorite toy and teddy bear, Ted gains his mind and becomes best friends with his owner, 16-year-old John Biener. Like any teenager, John is going through hormonal, physiological, and psychological changes that bring him a lot of trouble and force him to ask difficult and uncomfortable questions. But Ted is ready to do anything to help his owner learn about the adult world and all its diversity. The audience is waiting for the trademark black humor with vulgar screams and violence and sex. In short, everything that was loved in earlier works. You can fix this. You gotta find a buyer. Fresh penis! Get your fresh penis here! Oh, Jesus Christ! Still has that new penis smell! Will you shut up! All right, I'm just trying to help. Number two, True Detective doesn't give up trying to resurrect the iconic True Detective. Five years ago, the series was already returning with a decent but unappealing third season. Now the channel is releasing not that the fourth, but rather just a new season. Events unfold in a town in Alaska where six employees of the Arctic Research Station mysteriously disappear. For the investigation of the case is taken by detectives who will have to get to the truth buried under the eternal ice. The main feature of the project is the absence of a soldier's nickname. Now for the script, directing in Lopez, who admitted that he plans to make a grim doppelganger of the first season instead of sultry Louisiana cold Alaska, two women and a tight deadline. Number three, Berlin, the spin-off of the acclaimed Spanish series Paper House, which deals with Anderson's character words from Call Signs Berlin. It's a full-fledged series and um, prequel about what happened before the events of the main story. Together with a team of talented thieves, he develops and tries to realize one of the most daring heists in history and get jewelry worth 44 million euro. The series is filmed in a rather spectacular and entertaining manner. As always, there is intrigue heroes are waiting for a lot of adventures on the way to their common goal and all sorts of cool and perfectly thought out scams and teams keeps in suspense worries about their successful implementation. The only thing that matters is that the countdown has begun. Number four, Dr. Death an anthology series dramatizing the true stories of ambitious doctors whose medical malpractices led to disastrous consequences for those in their care. Most incompetent surgeon I've ever crossed paths with, or he's a sociopath. Number five, Reacher. When retired military police officer Jack Reacher is arrested, for a murder he did not commit. He finds himself in the middle of a deadly conspiracy full of dirty cops, shady businessmen, and scheming politicians. With nothing but his wits, he must figure out what is happening in Margrave, Georgia. Looks like you had a rough night. Had worse. Number six, The Artful Dodger. An irreverent follow-up to Dickens' Oliver Twist, exploring the adult double life of Charles Dickens' famous Prince of Thieves. Set in 1850s Australia, in the lively colony of Port Victory, we meet Jack Dawkins, the artful dodger who's transferred his fast fingers as a pickpocket to the nimble, skilled fingers of a surgeon. Dodger's past returns to haunt him with the arrival of Fagin, luring him back into a world of crime. A greater threat to Dodger's heart is Lady Bell, the governor's daughter, determined to become the colony's first female surgeon. From heists to life and death surgeries, from sorries to street violence, this is a tale of reinvention, betrayal, redemption, and love with a twist. Now that would require artfulness. Number seven, The Brothers' Son, action comedy about the criminal life of the Asian American diaspora and one family involved in a bloody showdown. Events begin to unfold when an influential criminal authority dies at the hands of an unknown killer and his eldest son, a legendary hitman, is forced to go to Los Angeles to protect his mother and naive younger brother, Bruce. Growing up in different worlds, the heroes 
quickly find contact, but not a common language, which is beautifully shown through the ignorant Mandarin Bruce, because of which he has no way to fit into the criminal community and understand their speech. Perhaps the series will be a worthy alternative for all Wayne's fans closed in 2023. I don't think we've ever hugged before. They're probably gonna die, so might as well get one in before you go. Number eight, Monsieur Spade, dramatic detective from the creator of the miniseries, The Queen's Walk Scott Frank, based on the, the novel Breath um, in the Metro Maltese Falcon. The series is set in 1963. A private detective decides to retire and settle in a nice place in the south of France. But that in the local convent, someone brutally kills six nuns. The circumstances of the crime force, the detective to return to his work and start his own investigation. While he is trying to find the killer, the city begins to rumor that the crime involved a child with supernatural abilities and decides to look closely at the inhabitants and discovers that each and every one of them is hiding secrets. Number nine, Boy Swallows Universe. In 1985, Brisbane, Eli Bell's life is complicated enough. A lost father, a mute brother, a junkie mum, a heroin dealer's stepfather, and a notorious crim for a babysitter. He's just trying to follow his heart and understand what being a good man means. But fate keeps throwing obstacles in his way, including legendary Brisbane drug dealer Titus Braz. Now, Ella's life will get a whole lot more serious um, he's about to meet the father he doesn't remember, uh, breaking Barbago Road Gale on Christmas Day to, to rescue his mom, come face to face with the criminals who tore his world apart and fall in love with the girl of his dreams. We're stronger than they are. All you have to do is believe. That's it for now. Thanks for your attention and good luck.